Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Rhonda and this is Acres of Clay. Today I'm going to show you how my husband and I built this greenhouse for practically nothing. So long story short, we got all the supplies that we used for the, for the making of this greenhouse um, from an existing barn. It was a is a cattle barn and so the lumber the steel and this plastic curtain here all came from all came from the farm that we got this from pretty much the only thing that i purchased were some door handle doorknobs um screws although we didn't use all the screws some of those screws got used on different projects. The doorknobs were the most because those were $25 each. So I have about $80 to $90 total in the building of this greenhouse. I'm going to do this video from start to finish so you can see the whole process of it. Um, this is all reclaimed materials. I think almost 100% of everything that we're going to use is all reclaimed. First of all, let me show you where we're put in this. So as you can see, this is my garden area. Back here are my raised beds. And this here, where you see this tape measure and these two by fours, this is where we are gonna place our greenhouse. So my greenhouse is going to be 20 feet long by 12 feet wide. So we're putting in poles and there's gonna be three on each side, 10 foot apart because it's 20 foot long so we're gonna need one on the end one in the middle one on the other end Kevin's helping me with this project because I think it'll go easier and quicker with two people So far, we got all six poles in. This is the level of the steel. Steel will go this far, four foot. So far, I've got all these two by fours. These two by fours are two foot apart. I'm gonna hang steel on the inside here. Well, it's gonna be on the outside, but on these two by fours, they'll be screwed to that. We laid a two by six here on top. This two by six is for um, laying the cattle panel right along here. So this um, is just kind of platform board for the cattle panels and all the curtain. And over here um, are where the cattle panels are. We are going to be repurposing the ones that are on this barn. You can see them. We put them here when we built this barn and we're going to put this on. This is a wire coated mesh. You can see it's small. And this is what we've this is what we use in other places. We've used this on our heifer barns. This is this is being recycled, reused. Um, got this from my parents' farm, so that's getting reused. And we have plenty of it to go around. So yeah, that's what's getting in place of the cattle panels. We have six cattle panels on the barn. I think I'm only going to be using five. So this is how far we've gotten this afternoon. My only issue is I do believe this wall is tilting out a little bit so I'm gonna have to maybe put some bracing in there until we can get it firmly packed and get a little bit more sturdy. Um, we've got five 
cattle panels up. They're 16 foot long. I came along and zip tied the joints together so that everything is connected all the way. That's one doorway. Put a couple poles in, now we're gonna put some bracing in just to make sure everything is stable. Alright, so we have most of the steel put up in place. We have a couple small pieces like in here that we need to fill in. And now we're working on like this header. I don't know what you're going to call it. But um, I put a couple 2x4s together and we're going to attach them um, to the ends here just for support. And are we going to add like a 2x6 or something? To the we'll, top uh, of that. Then what we're gonna do is uh, go on top and screw a two by either two by six. I'm thinking a two by six or two by eight. I don't know yet. So we'll screw that to the top, and then we'll fasten our curtains to it or our plastic. Our side curtains, yeah. Yep. That way we can roll them up, and it's attached up top, mm -hmm. and it will hold our uh, eye bolts too. Mm -hmm. So there will be two different things attached to it. To the purpose of it. Yeah. I have two 2x8s. Um, two They're cut 10 foot long. These will go on the top part of the greenhouse. Every foot I'm putting an eye bolt. So like, these are the eye bolt. And these are just eye bolts that we took off that old barn. Did you bring me a stick? <laughs> Alright, I've got all the eye bolts in. There's ten on each board foot apart. I started in about six inches um, from the end of the board and then every foot and um, now the now we're gonna lay the plastic and the lath boards on each side so this will be curtain on one side this will be the curtain on the other side and we'll attach it to this and that's how we're gonna do it Right, so we attached these top 2x8s to the 2x4s that we screwed together and then we have them screwed into this pole and this is what the curtain will sit on or this is what the curtain will be attached to and then we'll have strings rope that goes um, to support the curtain to hold it down um, from wind and stuff so that's what that looks like screwed it down and uh, yeah we move on so we got a lath board and then we lay the lath board on this and fold it over and then we're screwing it to the 2x8 so that's what one side looks like we have to do it to the other side because we have our other curtain is laying down there 
Got the curtain up, but this side is a little bit shorter, so what we're gonna do is attach a two by four. That'll be enough to have the curtain fall down onto it. Um, we gotta put the end curtains up yet. Some or, steel trim. Yep, we gotta finish up some steel. Got one, two pieces to cut yet. Getting warm in here already. Yeah, it closed up, that would be. Yeah, I don't know plants would love it. I don't know if they're light though. I don't know either. Is it going to be bright enough? Well, uh, during the summer it might be just... I don't think it would be. One side done. All right, so what we're doing now is going along and tying a rope every foot, uh, and that helps hold the curtain down in place for when wind wants to catch underneath of it. Um, it just holds it all in place, so it'll be more secure. Oops. So I'm up in the bucket of the loader while Kevin's on the other side. <laughs> Handy, throwing it up to me. So I'm just going in one loop. Well, just in and out, just like this. And this is used rope. Also, I didn't buy this. And then I have eye bolts every foot on the top and on each side, and then high, and then. Um, we did a string on this, we did a string on this one side, and then we're doing a separate string uh, run on that side. So this is what the greenhouse looks like so far inside. I still have to paint the top of those boards. Right now I'm going to be working on setting up some shelves, some shelves to work on. And I think that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. All right, I'm making some progress, as you can see. I'm pretty much coming up with this idea as I go. So what I did was I cut two by fours. Um, these are three foot long. And then I cut two of them and placed them together to make sturdy legs. I made eight legs. So what I did was I we have, we have 20 foot two by fours. And I wanted to be able to use those without cutting each one. I placed legs on each end and then six and a half foot apart. So it's six and a half foot from each end like that. That's how I did that. And then I'm gonna put a shelf at the bottom and I decided I wanted to, I thought about putting the shelf halfway and then I thought, well, what? that seems like a waste. So I'm gonna put the shelf towards the bottom. What I did was, these are three foot, and then I screwed a two by four that was 30 inches on top of that. And that me that makes my counter area 30 foot, no, 30 inches, sorry. 30 inches deep, which is, for me, it's a good working area. And um, this height is good working height for me. So it's just over. Um, three foot tall. Alright, we haven't finished this end yet, so we're gonna do that today. We're gonna get the plastic on and the door hung. Um, I bought I bought these, oh, what are they called? I don't know. They're, they cover like pipes and stuff so it doesn't freeze or like an insulator. So there's a slit down the middle like this. And I'm putting that on the edge of my cattle panel like this. That way the plastic sits against this and it doesn't cut it. So I bought three of those and that will do one end each. They're like $1.50 each. Here's pretty much the final look of the greenhouse. We've got the structure all up. There's a few things in here that I have to do. I have to finish painting. The bottom shelves, there's some painting up here I need to do. Outside needs some cleaning. 
Um, but for the most part, we, it is usable. I can bring my plants in here. And then there's a couple holes here in this side of the curtain, which I don't know if it's going to be a big deal or if I can find something that I can um, maybe patch it with and for more long term. Um, but we'll see. Uh, otherwise, everything else is really sealed. It's actually, it's like 50 outside and I have a thermometer over here and it's almost 70 in here. So that's nice. It's really nice in here. The width, this, the width of this is uh, 11 because we made it 12 from outside to outside. So inside it's 11 foot um, height, which was what I was really concerned about was height. Um, is nine foot in the center, which means I have lots of area here where I can stand and it not be an issue. Here it is, complete. For the most part, the structure is complete. I'm gonna... So this is what it looks like. I had all these plants in the house. Can you believe it? Um, and on this side are all the plants that I overwintered. Most of those are in the garage, so they weren't in the house. I haven't done anything on this side, but I know that after being in here for a little bit, I want to build um, like a table where I can work and sit. Um, this is great, and it's a great working height, but um, sometimes when I'm transplanting or doing little things, I just like to sit. So. I'll probably do that. Sorry, excuse the calf. I'm weaning her. She's not getting her milk right now. So, also, it's raining. Great. I still have a few more flats that I need to bring in of tomatoes. It's been very windy the last couple days, and I just don't want to risk, um, I don't want to risk hurting them in any way. So I have a couple hanging baskets up here. One of my main concerns was that this, um, this plastic curtain, which rolls up and down, it was too thick and it wasn't light enough. But yesterday it was really sunny and it seemed to be just fine. It is a little bit stained and um, dirty looking, especially from the outside. Um, but since it's something that's used, and it didn't cost us anything. I'm not too concerned about it. Maybe one day we can replace it with new, but I believe that this is gonna last us several years because um, the plastic is still really good. Thank you all for watching. If this kind of video is something that you enjoy watching, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of my up and coming garden videos and it's very much appreciated. It lets me know that you guys are interested in my videos. All right, we will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.